Hi all, and uh, welcome to my Skyrim Let's Play. Um... Uh, oh, well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a perv. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, welcome to Skyrim Let's Play Path of Baldassar the Great. Yeah, um... Oh, my God. Where did we leave off last time? I have no idea. And what is everybody doing? We've got Lars. Not Lars, but... Yeah, Lar oh, Lawson. Lawson. His name's Lawson. <laughs> there, and... Yeah, we got the... Uh, the daughter downstairs, she's still walking into that thing. I don't know why she's doing that. Weird. Uh, Sophia is out uh, <coughs> doing her stuff, doing her thing. Let's see what we have here. We got stews. We got, we got some beef stew here. Uh, stamina increased by that for 25 seconds, restores 2 points down. Yeah, let's take a couple of these. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, if you want to know what kind of mods I've got on, the uh, list will be in the description below. The mod list will be in the description below. <coughs> so yeah, um, I'm thinking of installing a new mod called... Um, uh, here is your home. Uh, it's essentially a um, uh, like a home relocation uh, mod. For for example, you don't see Lydia, right? It's because we got a house in uh, White Run, and we got one in here in Solitude. But since Lydia Lydia is not a house, uh, or it's not my uh, uh, mate, she uh, tends to be in the house that she's in for the uh, well. The starting house, which is the one in right one. So here is your house mod. It's a cool one to say uh, <clears throat> you can. We can uh, ask Lydia to come with us, and we go into our own house. Bam, and then I tell her, Bam, this is your house now. Okay, cool. And then she's there uh, from then uh, point on. When you tell her that we have to part ways, she will always go back to solitude. So yeah. <clears throat> okay. I can ask it be used to combine ingredients into useful potions and deadly poisons. We already know that. So if any of you are new to my uh, uh, Skyrim mod series here, uh, the little blue. Yes. Shut up. The little blue one you saw up there that's uh, faded away now is a, a cold indicator meter we have uh, in our mod selections we have a lot we also have frostfall frostfall uh, is a uh, uh, a real camping survival uh, thing where you can set it to we can, we can enable it in here because of disable it uh, we have gameplay and all manner of where um Worn equipment effects rate. Uh, if enable equipment provides different amounts of exposure protection, depending on what it is. Default off. We're gonna actually. We're gonna. Uh, you must exit the menus for this setting to be take effect. Cool. Go out here. Now it runs in the background. You see, there. Bam. You are carrying too much. As part of uh, as part of enabling the defaulting wear, all of your current equipment items has been unequipped. Uh, Re-equip uh, your uh, equipment uh, uh, to start using your equipment's exposure protection. Ah! God damn it! I'm naked. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, oh, yeah. That is my helmet. This is not. <laughs> okay, and we had this ring on. Yeah, we did. Cool. Uh, restoration. 
This helmet is a quest item. I found it luckily in my in my um, uh, in my uh, mall uh, or stall market stall. Hadn't sold it yet because after you find a certain piece of item, you will be given a uh, uh, a note. Uh, let me see here. Where is it? Uh, is it this one? No, this is uh, this is from Falk Firebeard in the Blue Palace. No, apparently have placed a note somewhere. Uh, Void Bolt. We already have Void Bolt. So yeah. Oh well. Uh, well, you will be given a note asking if you could uh, bring this to um, yeah, map here. Markarth uh, in the Dremor Ruin type thing up in the back of Markarth. Yeah, uh, there's a guy uh, who uh, would love to see that item and will pay you handsomely more than you can actually get from it when you just sell it. So yeah, um, as you can see, the exposure is very uh, dark blue dim, meaning that uh, it is not that cold for me. So yeah, we will see uh, if... Uh, this cloth gives me any exposure level. Uh, yeah, you could also, if you want, uh, equip a uh, equip a torch like this. The torch gives uh, off a little bit of heat, meaning that your um, the coldness drops uh, very slowly. Those rebels better not try coming to Hofingar. Yeah, I know. But if you want to get. Uh, Sorry, my nose is a bit stuffy. Uh, without working this weekend, so yeah, it's been cold like full luck. Um, yeah, uh, down here you can see there's a little fire pit down there. I'm going to show you just in a little bit here. Let's fast travel down here, down the cliff side. I catch it. Whoa! Oh yeah, by the way, <laughs> if you didn't know, it's because of my wings that I can jump that high. Okay. Let's go in here, and let's go here. Let's uh, take the torches off. Okay, if look at that. He goes into an animation, automatic animation. As you can see, this bar up here. This is a cold meter bar. The more this uh, goes up, the colder you get. If it gets up to maximum bar, you, you will have hyperthermia. And you do not want to have hyperthermia. I do believe you know what that means. Now it changes from a cold bar to a heat bar. You can have that up in a, a maximum. You become comfortably warm when it's full, when it's maxed, uh, mes when it's maxed up. There we go. And he stops his animation because we are now full in uh, this one. You feel comfortably warm. Water has effects also, meaning that if you go into water... Ow, oh, damn! Oh, that was cold. That was frigid water. That was really cold. Oh, whoa. Yeah, um... Uh, when uh, bad guys come in and, uh, yeah, automatically will stop the uh, thing. But that is a... Uh, there's a water creature. He can't come up and get us. As you can see, it's not a blue bar here. This is a... Uh, you're completely dry now. It's a... Um, yeah, an indicator that you are wet. Uh, essentially. Well, that was a cold shock. Let's... Oh. I'm going to go out here in the water a little bit. Come on. Come on. Hmm, a little bit of a glitch. Let me just dry off here. Oh my god. Uh, 
usually you can uh, before you could be burned by the fire, but you can't now. Uh, now you really have to. St oh, now he's taking a dip. So yeah, uh, ten minutes has just passed with me galloping about with uh, this fire thing. Oh, as you can see, when you get this shock, this um, I call it a hypothermia shock. It's not hypothermia per se, but it's still a very, very cold shock. So yeah, uh, all your stamina <laughs> gone. It is a true bear grills uh, type of uh, mod uh, survival thing. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, the cold meter is going down. Ah, oh, let's just wait until it comes up completely. And there we go. It is now completely up. Okay, uh, journal, let us join the check. Yeah, not now. Lights out. Mind of Madness, Reckon Rift, Regain the Rift, ah yeah, that's this one up here, uh, these two are connected. Investigate, uh, the Guma Legend, uh, yeah, discover the location of the Elder Scroll, find the Elder Scroll, Blood and Dragon, speak to Serana. Meet Tophtia outside of Sunholm, yeah. Bring uh, me uh, the beacon back. Locate Brynjolf at the Ragged Flagon. Uh, so that's the four shards. Dragonborn Soulhelm, nope. Meet with whomever took the horn and miscellaneous. This one. All the way in back here, but we already we only have this one, so let's fast travel to here. Silver weapons are ex uh, exceptionally efficient against ghosts, the undead, and lycanthropies, uh, lycanthropies, uh, werewolves. Oh, hey, how you doing, Sorana? What's up, my bitch? Oh, you're looking fine as always. It is cold as hell up here in the mountains, as you can see. Oh my god. <laughs> Bit of jewelry for your journey home. Oh, this pendant would look lovely on my system. I cannot kill me straight. I die for my people. The forest born are here in the city. Ah, uh, stay back. The Markarth city guard have this all under control. I didn't want her to die. <sighs> Should I restart it so I can Forsworn? Do you really think the city is as safe as they say it is? Hmm. If the Forsworn can attack inside the walls, then it can't be all that safe. God. A woman the attacked right on the streets. Are you exactly alright? Did you see what happened? Either. I was right here. I almost... He, uh, he almost killed me. I'm so sorry. I hope the eight give you more peace in the future. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. Do you know anything about this attack? Mm -hmm. No. I was just getting some fresh air. Had one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. Hmm. Until next time. Okay, what is up? Damn. Another body to get rid Damn. of. Another body to get rid of. <laughs> okay, what was up with that? Alright, let's see. Let's see what he let's see what this bucko got. Okay, got ring, sweet roll, 
and a steel dagger. That's about it. Okay. Uh, let's see, what is this place in here? This is the Alvin and Son Trading Company. Okay, cool. Let's go and see if they have something cool for sale. Did you hear all that noise outside? It's just the market rabble. We should get back to work. You there, if you're here to trade, step up to the counter. By sure, is that... Is that Asura Star? How did you come to possess such a rare treasure? Hmm, easy. I did some work for her. This door has been... Has seen better days, hasn't it? Oh, by the divines, is it that obvious? I swear, if my Gunnar was alive to see me now... That is actually my middle name. Would finally be on its feet if I hadn't lost my last shipment to the Forsworn attacks. Especially made the Bella statuette. You aren't for hire, are you? A sellsword? I'll pay you if you can recover that statuette from the Forsworn. I'll do it. Thank you. I'll have a sum of gold waiting for you when you return. There was an attack in the market. No. As if trade wasn't poor enough. Now there's violence in the streets. Mm -hmm. It was the Forsworn, wasn't it? I lose dozens of shipments every season to those barbarians. Now they're in the city? Gods help us. Oh, I'm right here. Come back. I have to wonder. What does... I inherited the store from my husband. His father was Arnleif. My husband, Gunnar, died about five years ago. Forsworn attack. I miss that stubborn oaf. What do you have for sale? Take a look. Okay. A small leather tent and bedroll. And you got two of them and it only cost that. Okay, cool. I'm gonna buy one. She's got a lot of gold actually. Hmm? Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, that's a backpack, you know that? Okay, they actually have those new armors, cool. Increased stamina by 34 and health half as much. Okay, that's a pretty cool one to have, but I'm not gonna buy it just yet. Magica is increased by 20 points doing radio. <laughs> Uh, a girl's dress. Hmm. Uh, cost 11. Wait, 2. Yeah. Let's buy this one for our sweet daughter back at home. Let's see what else have we got here. Ring of Treasures. Grant 20 gold each day. Okay, I'm buying this one. That's what they am sure. Book of Sparks. We already have that one. We got some straw. We got a Vanguard plate armor. This is a full body. This is a full body Vanguard plate armor. Holy crap. If only I had been uh, um, heavy uh, male, then this thing would protect me something fierce. Um. Exposure level is also uh, a, a percentage of armor level, does you know. Okay, now what can I sell to you? We have amethyst, we got three amethysts here. Uh, absorption cantrip. I'm gonna keep my hands on this one just for now. Uh, bear pelt. Gonna keep my hands on that one. Brawlers uh, for 60, 60 seconds on arm attack and fist weapons do 10% more damage. Or 10 more damage. <laughs> Cure poison, that's a good one to have. Sorry. <laughs> this one we're gonna deliver. Elkin. Uh, value nothing. Gonna give her all, all the arrows. Got firewood. Ooh. Nice. Uh, void Bolt, we can sell her. This one we're gonna hold on to. Uh, 
no, gotta keep that. Uh, oh, this is the cure. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, cure for the dragon wings. I made one of those just in case that I wanted to train, change out my dragon wings at some point. Let's see here. What else do we have? Silver so, ore. Ruby. You can have that. I am keeping these seeker arrows. These are very special arrows. If you fire them towards an enemy and the enemy goes a little bit to the side, uh uh. It's a little bit overpowered, but still. Okay, here we got fragments. We're gonna sell all fragments. Mm, sweet bro. Uh, weapons master's potion. Uh, for 30 seconds, heavy weapon and ranged weaponry do 20% more damage. I do not use heavy weaponry of any kind, so let's sell all of this. Uh, soup and stew. Uh, restores 15 stamina, restores 1 point of health per second for that. Restores 1 point of stamina. Yeah, cool. All stews and soups and stuff like that gives also a percentage of uh, exposure protection. So keep your, uh, keep that in mind. We're going to keep the ring because we can make it into something else. Cool. Uh, yeah. If you need anything else, just ask. Thank you. Whoa, so Rana. Oh, Sophia. You're looking fine. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's do what we came here to do and uh, deliver that uh, helmet. You don't know anything about this house? No. Anyone seen entering or leaving? Any strange lights or unusual noises? It's abandoned, and it's always been abandoned. Excuse me, but do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? Uh, no, I haven't. Seems no one in this city has. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. We believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship, evil rites, and so forth. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know anything. Thank you for your time. I don't want to help in at the moment. Don't know what that man expects. House is empty. Hmm. Okay, we're on the right track. We're going up here. What do you need? Nothing from you at the moment. Ah, Understone Keep. What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. First, you take away Talos. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongbor. We're done. If it's about the Hall of the Dead, no. You can't go in there. Why not? I can't talk about it. Rest assured, the Jarl hears everyone's concerns. You will be able to visit the dead again soon. I could help if you tell me. All right. I was going to suggest the Jarl hire someone to sort this mess out anyway. We've discovered that some of the dead have been... eaten. Flesh has been chewed off. Bones were snapped to get at the marrow inside. We haven't caught anyone or anything yet. It's like it knows when I'm there. If you can get to the bottom of this, the priesthood of RK will reward you. Take my key and be careful. New to Skyrim? I was confused at first, too. The Nords call their mausoleums the Hall of the Dead. It's where people in the city are buried. Fathers, forefathers, mothers, foremothers. <laughs> okay, okay. Tread lightly in the hall. You don't know what's in there. I'm gonna go this way. We're not gonna activate the uh, side quest that's in there. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. 
I told you I'm not hiring any more guards. Why do you people always bother me when I'm trying to finish my research? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work. And I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? Uh... I'm here about the Dremer Helmet of Fencing. You are? Very good. May I see it? Actually, what? I thought it... Hmm. Oh, what a terrible shame. Well, if you think you know where you left it and can retrieve it, I'll be here. So it wasn't that one I had. Oh. It wasn't. Damn, I think it's already been sold then. Damn, damn, damn. Right. I have things to study. What is it? Persistent, aren't you? Oh, very well. Who am I to stand in the way of curiosity? I'll let you in if you agree to something for me. There's a giant spider in the Chuan Zell. My workers call her Nimhi, the poisoned one. If you deal with Nimhi, I'll let you into both the excavation site and my Dwemer Museum. What do you say? Hmm, that spider's as good as dead. Enthusiasm. Good. Here's the key to the dig site. Yeah, researching the Dwemer. Spells and incantations oh. for those with the talent to cast them. Hey, let's see here. What do we have, actually? Dremors. Let's go with the clothes first. Uh, scrolls. Kind of a lot of them, actually. Books. Oh, you know this one. Berserk. Restores. A Basque. Restores 20 exposure for 30 seconds. Uh, while the effect, uh, when the effect wears off, the restored exposure is lost. So this is a, a helpful spell that, oh my god, I'm almost out and bam, and does get into something where it's warm. Uh, cleansing. If, uh, if the target is below 40% in health, uh, it dies. If not, it loses 20% health. Uh, only works on targets after uh, affected by. Ah, oh. that one. Okay, cool. Strike or fast healing. Fox skin. Yeah. Improves the cast's exposure protection by ten point four hundred fifty seconds. Yeah. Got that one. Ray raise animal. Reanimate any. Animal to, uh, ah, to perm what? To permanently fight for you. Oh, nice! I'm buying that one. Ooh. Vein of necrotic restoration. No retaliation. Sorry, retaliation. Okay, so you activate this one, then you uh, reanimate death is 50% more costly, but you empower the uh, animated death in the uh, animated dead instead. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> this one. Yes, their history and culture is all around us in Markarth, a race of stonecutters, artisans, and engineers. 
They invented machines and built elaborate underground cities where they researched powers to rival the gods themselves. Damn. And then, at a time we are still not sure when, they disappeared. The whole people, all at once, leaving behind only their works. Hmm. To protect my research, for one, there are more cutthroat scholars out there who would steal my findings if they got the chance. And the excavations into Nijuanzel are dangerous. Dwemer machines and traps still functional, even after thousands of years. Well, that's pretty cool. What? Oh, goodbye. So, yeah. And there is volumes upon volumes of Dwemer stuff. Yeah, uh, but sadly we have reached the old wrapping up point, but, uh, yeah. You here to see the yarn? Nope. No sudden moves, understand. Tomorrow we'll begin our journey into Nguyen's Nguyen cell excavation site. But until then, thank you all so very much for watching, and as always, catch on the flip side.